Looking on up the horizon. I'm James Junius, and I'm here at the Mean Eyed Cat with Mood Media and the Austin Music Foundation for Mood Live. I mean, I grew up in the mountain states and kind of in a place that a lot of people forgot. And so uh, with a lot of the lyrical themes of a lot of Heartland artists like Bruce Springsteen or, um, or John Mellencamp or other things like that, the, lyrically that's what I was drawn to. But then I was also the sonic landscapes of a lot of late 80s, early 90s British shoegaze bands like um, Ride or the Jesus and Mary Chain or Slow Dive. And so it's kind of trying to capture both sonically the expansiveness of that landscape as well as uh, kind of what it feels like to grow up in a place that nobody, that's just a flyover state. I always wanted to live in Austin. I grew up listening to the 13th Floor Elevators and the Black Angels. I almost failed high school as a result of just listening to too much psych music. Um, but Terry and I became friends and then he, offered a hand in terms of saying of wanting to help me out and I figured I was I mean if the producer of ACL says you should probably pursue music then you might want to so, yeah. and the wind blows through my head. I think the biggest thing that I've seen is just how supportive people are out here. I mean, you, I grew up in a place where you'd have to drive two hours to play a show. And, but here it's like you go down Red River or there's all these amazing um, kind of nonprofit music foundations that are just willing and able to help people out. And so that sense of community, that sense of we're all in this together and that people are supportive of each other. I think that's been one of the biggest things for me. Another awesome artist, still the Black Angels. Obviously, Ringo, Death Star, Jane Ellen Bryant. A lot of, I mean, it's interesting always being in a different place and then moving here. You end up discovering a lot more music, and Pale Diane is another one that I love. And so it's just great to actually be on the ground and to get to see all these musicians that you would have never other, or you would have never heard otherwise. thing that I've learned from the ADP program with the Awesome Music Foundation is just how to work with other musicians and other artists and how to put together a band and how to arrange songs and uh, I mean there's also so much in terms of music uh, licensing and rights and just PR that I had a small grasp of but just getting to be able to delve headfirst into it with the Awesome Music Foundation has been fantastic. So what's next on my plate is putting a band together and uh, recording some of my songs that I've worked on with rearrangements and everything else like that and just putting everything together in a way that I feel like I'm going to be able to convey to the world. I gotta run.